Hi, I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about Mars and Mars is such an important planet. Why? Because it is where the energy is. It is where the action is. Mars is a trigger for major events in this world. And boy, do we have some major events about to unfold. So before I continue on, I want to tell everybody to sign up for my free newsletter where you can get all of my predictions delivered to your email address absolutely free every week. Go to galacticcenter.org, sign up for my free newsletter, and while you're there, check out my Patreon page. Become part of our spiritual community and you're going to hear things that I can no way put out here on YouTube. So join that and boy, there's some advantages there. Check it out. And while you're there, you can also click on my Galactic Planner. Galacticplanner.com. Go to it because there is where you will get your chart calculated and all of the transits for you personally will be delivered into your calendar on your phone or computer and you will be able to live by the stars. Know what days are good for what every day of your life. So go to galacticplanner.com. Dot com. All right, so let's continue on and talk about Mars. So why am I so adamant about talking about Mars right now? Because it's going to be going retrograde and this upsets everything. And boy, are we going to have some upsets due to this Mars. Mars is really the trigger that's showing us what is going on in this world. Okay, so here's the thing. Mars has been in Gemini for quite some time and it's already slowing down because it's going to stop and turn retrograde around December 6th. December 6th, December 7th, Mars will turn retrograde. But already the motion of Mars is slower. And it's been in Gemini for quite some time. And while it's in Gemini, right now it's in Gemini, and it, will, and it doesn't go into Cancer till October 20th. So it's been pretty much most of September and October that Mars is in Gemini. And let me tell you what Gemini is all about. Well, first it's about communications, which means everything has been going crazy. Um, all the censorship, all the stuff the media has been doing, that's making people angry. Mars deals with anger, right? Deals with violence and anger. And there's been so much in the airwaves. But let me tell you what else Gemini deals with. It is an air sign and deals with the winds and deals with weather, especially the nakshatra of Ardra where it's been, deals with the storm god. So during this time, I mean, look what's going on with Mars and Gemini. We have had some of the most catastrophic hurricanes. It's been hitting North Carolina, unbelievable tragedies going on with Mars being in Gemini. And I have noticed that when Mars goes into Gemini, it creates storms of this nature, catastrophic drownings, problems. Now, this whole video is about Mars going into Cancer, which happens October 20th. And the reason why this is monumental is Mars is debilitated in Cancer. What do I mean when I say debilitation? It means Mars, let, let's just put it clearly, it's in the worst sign it can be in. In other words, it causes more trouble in this sign than any other. That's what it means. And actually debilitation means it's weak. So Mars can't do what it normally does that's good. It's going to process in a bad way. So Mars will be, let me give you the lowdown while it's in Cancer. 
<clears throat> it's going to be in Cancer from October 20th till January 20th because it's slowing down and it's going to turn retrograde December 6th and 7th. And when it does, it's going to be around 11, 12 degrees. It's 11 degrees, 57 minutes to be exact, <clears throat> Cancer. And that's going to be crucial. You're going to find a war. The countries, I mean, I'm seeing crazy things going on in Iran, crazy things going on in Israel and to Netanyahu because their charts have those degree markings in them. But in the United States, we've got pretty much a civil war <clears throat> going on because people are enraged with Mars stopping and going retrograde. Now, as I said, it's going to be October 20th through January 20th in Cancer. Then it backtracks again into Gemini. And it's going to be in Gemini from January 20th through April 2nd. And then again, it's going to be in Cancer from April 2nd to June 6th. So let me repeat this. Mars will be in Cancer from October 20th to January 20th, then again April 2nd through June 6th. And it's in its worst sign. And here's another thing uh, Mars rules, real estate. So real estate is going to be in a bad predicament in this country and around the world. What am I saying? It, it affects the entire world. So real estate has its issues and problems. People can't buy a house, but people are so angry. And let me say this too. Cancer is the most emotional sign of all. So Mars and Cancer, people are over the top, overly sensitive and emotionally angry. And another thing, cancer represents families. So families are at odds with each other. You're going to find more divorces and separations and families splitting up because when Mars is in cancer, that's what happens. But not only that, it is retrograde, which when a planet is retrograde, it brings things up that have been repressed and it is a very bad time. All right, so when Mars is in Gemini, back in Gemini, that will be January 20th through April 2nd. In the midst of that, Mars is going to station to go direct around February 24th. And when it stations, the degree marking there will be 22 degrees of Gemini, smack dab on the sun of the United States chart, which represents aggression and terror to the country and possibly the leader. But let's go back to the Mars being in Cancer, because this is where it turns retrograde in Cancer that concerns me the most, because I think it's going to break out with war around the world. Now Mars, while it is, when it first enters into Cancer, it's going to be in the nakshatra called Purnavasu. And Purnavasu means return of the light. So there are a lot of things that Purnavasu is indicating. Some other astrologers I spoke with, they actually says the return of the light, return of the president before this can actually indicate while Mars is there that this could be possibly Trump coming back. I don't know if that's what it means. I've just been talking to a lot of different astrologers about this Mars. So, but by October 28th, here's what's important. Mars is going to go into the nakshatra called Pusha. And Pusha is in Cancer 
and it represents protection, security, and nurturing. It's actually symbol is the cow udder, which gives food and nurturing. But this is really deep, dark stuff when it comes to security and protection. And that's what we're going to be looking at that we need. As a country, I see attacks coming. Could this set off the elections? It very well could. Because there is some violence that is vile during this time. And it's splitting up families, it's splitting up emotions, and there's fear because there's no security. And we all need more protection. That's what Mars and Cancer is truly about. So Mars will be in Pusha, the most intense nakshatra that surrounds a sense of feeling of the need of protection from October 28th till January 13th. So during the time that Mars stations to go retrograde in December around the 6th and the 7th. It's in this nakshatra, which represents possibility of attacks. Absolutely, there is so much going on. And it will be, now January 13th, Mars will go back as it's retrograding into Purnavasu till April 12th. So January 13th to April 12th, it's in Purnavasu again. But April 12th, through through all the way till May 12th, it's going to be in Pusha again, the need for protection. But let's just jump a little bit further because Mars will actually, as I said, be in Cancer all the way till June 6th. So from May 12th to June 6th, it's in the nakshatra Aslesha, which is the sneakiest one of all. The sneakiest, and, the, and this can deal with a lot of harsh, dire energy. So let me just say, there is a little transit of Mars outside of Cancer. Let me just say, when it goes into Gemini, briefly, and it will go into Gemini from January 20th, through, yes, through April 2nd. But all between that, Mars is in Cancer from October 20th to January 20th, and then again from April 2nd to June 6th in Cancer. All of this is going to disrupt our peace. It's going to disrupt our real estate markets around the world because there is no peace, because there is fighting, there's war, and families are upset. People are upset all over the world. There are so many things that are going to cause upsets. But let me give you more. <laughs> You're like, what? Is there more? Yes. Mars will be opposing Pluto while it's in Cancer. And let me re remind everyone, while it is in Cancer, it's going through the 8th house of the United States chart, which deals with corruption and secrets and the economy, big money. So you're going to see all of this uproar on, on top of it. But April 26, as well as, well, let me back this up a little bit. November 3rd through the 4th of 2024, right there at election time, Mars is opposing Pluto at five degrees of Cancer and Capricorn. Pluto is five degrees of Capricorn. Mars is five degrees of Cancer. And Mars is in the eighth house of the United States chart, uncovering all the dirt, the corruption. And not only that, it can deal with death. The eighth house is death. So there is a lot going on. This could be a war strike. It could. Otherwise, it's just people enraged and like at war. But this is very angry and this is very, very warlike. November 3rd through the 4th, then, and this could mean, you know, halting the elections to a certain degree. Now, 
Then again, in April, as it goes back and forth, it's going to oppose Pluto April 26 again. So we have more prospects of dire things occurring in the United States because it's still in the eighth house, which deals with secrets, corruption, big money, and death. So this is going to occur at nine degrees. So Mars will be nine degrees of Cancer while Pluto is nine degrees of Capricorn. So this Mars is crucial. Things are going to be upset and we need security and we we will prevail through all this because what's really happening is everything's becoming uncovered and people are striking out and people are very, very angry around the world. This is all encompassing. So is it a world war? I'm not sure if all the world will be involved, but it could very well be because another thing I did note and I, I did a video on this too, is that China and Xi Jinping has specific degrees connecting this Mars retrograde. When it stations to turn retrograde in December, it's going to be hitting off the country of China as well as Xi Jinping's chart very personally. So there, and I'm looking at all the Middle East and Israel being involved too. So hopefully it's not as bad as Mars can sometimes portray. Let's all stay connected and let's all go within and let's pray for peace for our planet. But here's what I've been saying for a long time and I firmly believe this. It all has to come to a head and when it does, we will have an incredible healing. And that happens after this Mars retrograde, after June into October of 2025, a great healing will occur because the truth heals and everything is about to be exposed and healed and rectified. So we have to go through this to get to the other side of a healing for our great and beautiful planet coming together. It's like it has to be purged in order for the healing to happen. So with that, I think I'll close. I think you get the idea of what's ahead for us. Mars is the triggering planet for everything that's about to unfold. So with that, thank you. If this is interest you into learning astrology, remember I have an incredible online school. Go to universityofvedicastrology.com and become my student. Thank you.